Hi, I'm Maxi. Hey, Maxi. Lovely nice to meet you. Okay. Um, the Falling, the film that you're in, how well did you know Carol Morley, the director, beforehand? Really well. I've been friends with Carol for probably about 10 years now. I did a short film with her probably about, about 10 years ago. I've done a few short films with her and I did a first feature that she did called The Edge before then she went on to do Dreams of a Life. So, yeah, I've known Carol a long time. Yeah, and, yeah. and The Falling is very different to Dreams of a Life. Um, how, do, how did you approach the project? Did you, how do you think Carol approached it as well? Um, doing something so different from her previous film? I don't know, I think Carol, there's... I think what's interesting with Carol, there's a lot of themes that run through all of her films, you know what I mean? And, and even though it was a different format, I suppose, in Dreams of a Life, in some respects, it wasn't... I don't know, too different. I suppose, you know, I mean, there was lots of, in, you know, obviously the interview techniques which, she, you know, came through from films like Alcohol Years. But, um... I don't know how she approached it. I know she sort of buried herself away and was doing this, writing the script for a long time. I mean, I didn't read it till I got the offer of, of the job, you know what I mean? And I, I'd done a short film with her about, yeah, one of the first films I did with her, which was sort of based on mass hysteria than then The Falling became. So, but yeah, I don't know. I think, I don't know how differently she worked on, on this to, to Dreams of a Dreams of a Life, but... Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. In terms of working with uh, Maisie and some of the younger cast as well, how did you go about building that relationship? Because it's quite a fractured relationship on screen. Yeah, well, the youngsters seem to like to keep in character, which isn't my bag, but that's fair enough. So, um, yeah, it was quite easy in a way because they were sort of in character, you know. Um, so they treated me like they would treat the mother, which I it took a while to adapt too and I went all oh, right that's the game we're playing is it but um but it's each to their own you know what I mean I'm quite <laughs> you know I'm one of those whatever the majority work I'll, I'll sort of go along with you know what I mean but um I, I find all that slightly I don't know for me it's not it's slightly counterproductive but that, that was fine so it was quite yeah it was quite interesting it's quite interesting and obviously you forget that you know I didn't realize because I've never seen Game of Thrones so I didn't realize how how huge Maisie was and obviously you know they're so confident and, and together they're much more together than, than I am now or, or was ever was at that age so it was yeah it was great and it's great to see you know working with the stars of the big stars of the future you know I'll be able to say if ever I've grandchildren I, I work with her you know <laughs> so you're not familiar with Game of Thrones beforehand have you seen it since no no I don't have um I don't have that I will not name its name, but I don't have to, I don't have a big dish on the front of my house, no. So I don't I don't I haven't seen any of those. Excellent. Now it's great to see a strong uh, female film with a female cast and female director as well. Are there many opportunities like that that come your way? Yeah, I think I've done all right as far as strong female characters are, are concerned so far. But you make that decision. I wouldn't do anything but, and that means not working. Then that means I have to go and do something else. But yeah, I've been you know I've been fortunate enough, and obviously you know when you're working with people like Carol. She's, you know, I think it's a, con it's a conscious decision with her to make those strong female parts. And it's, you know, she wants to tell a story and, and, and her story is a very female story. And I think Carol has themes that run through all of her work, really, that resonate in each film. And I think it's from a female experience and she writes about that fantastically. So, Is that a different sort of approach from male-led films that you've been in before? Yeah. Female-led films are much better. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, yeah, there's just a different atmosphere, I think, and different storytelling. It's more of a, it's gentler in a way. I'm not saying it's not as brutal, but it has a, I don't know, it's usually a bit more deeper and a bit more detailed and, and, um, and, a, um, and I'd say broader in some respects um, and just more interesting, I think, in general terms. It's been great to see you on the big screen in a few other films as well. How have you found this particular period in your career? Yeah, no, it's great. I, I hope it, it, you know, I hope it, it will continue. I really enjoy doing films, and obviously, you know, the, the the films I've been in have been really interesting and and great storytelling. So you just you just want to go where the work's good, and and at the moment, film British film, you know, we do it. We are the best at it. We are the best, but unfortunately, we don't get the investment. You know, and these big films and big franchises are all right, but they're not what you know. They're not what we we're known for. So I think people like Carol with so much talent who is an auteur you know and I'm so glad that the Fallen's getting some attention so hopefully you know it'll encourage people to invest in more and more in British film else if not we're going to lose it and we're just going to be some sort of tax haven for other countries to come and get a tax break to 
you know, it's it's the evils of capitalism, isn't it? You know, creativity gets squashed, and it's as long as money's being made, so hopefully this will open a few more eyes. You know? yeah, finally, I mean, I, I hope to see more of Carol as well. What would be a mark of success for the film and for her personally, do you think? I think just the acclaim, and I think already it feels like a success. She's had amazing reviews, people are talking about it. You know, people will say to me, oh my God, is that Caramoli or friend Caramoli? You know what I mean? It's already, it feels like Carol. And I've always said that from when I first worked with Carol. You knew straight away she was gonna, it would take her time because she doesn't, what can I say? She, she doesn't concede, she'll stick with, she's amazing about it. She sticks with what she wants to do and she won't water it down for a commercial market, you know? So you always knew it would just, you know, before you know it, everybody will be wanting Carol Morley and everybody will want a filmmaker like Carol Morley. So I think this is this is the big, after Dreams of a Lie, I think, yeah, I think she's, it's already feels like it's got a big stamp of success on it. So, yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And congratulations on the film. Thank you very thank much. You. Nice to meet you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!